Good morning! How are you? No, really, how are you? Seems like I haven't seen you guys in a while. Uh, yeah, it was weird not to upload yesterday, but I had nothing to upload. Or, yeah, today's Tuesday, yeah. Losing track of my days. So, let's see. It's a good day. Can you tell? The sun's out. I'm trying to be not in the sun, but in the light. Go to the light. And I have my coffee. Mm -mm -mm. Staying out of pilot. I'm looking for some propane because I'm out and there wasn't anybody to fill it yesterday. And it was cold last night and that's how my heater runs is on propane. But I just went in, I took a shower. Maybe that's why I feel so up. Uh, <laughs> taking a shower since Friday. Mm, maybe I shouldn't tell you guys these things. Uh, but I took a shower, the propane guy's here, I got coffee, the sun is out, it's a beautiful day, and it's going to be a good one. Uh, and I'm going to tell you a little story, because you know, I just like to talk. Because it's weird, I just found one. And recently, uh, and it's been on this trip, and listen, I know there's pennies everywhere, uh, but I have been finding an unusual amount of just random pennies anytime I walk anywhere. And I've been picking them up and I've been picking them up like since kind of the beginning of the trip. And it just seems to be kind of, I kind of feel like it's representing, I feel for me, you know, my sister passed, my brother passed, my brother-in-law passed, my dad passed. And I don't know, I like to think that it's them just showing me that they're along the way with me. So even if it's in my head, it gives me comfort. So, and I also want to tell you, I'm going to tell you a little something about me that you probably would never know, but okay, I don't like to watch wrestling, like, you know, WWE and stuff like that, but I am fascinated, fascinated by uh, wrestler, wrestlers lives like the psychology and um just everything about it um and uh documentaries and so yesterday i had seen that um scott hall Reza ramon if you're a wrestling fan um that he passed away he was on life support he was having hip surgery and he passed away um some complications with his another hip surgery and so um uh i was kind of sad because i watched uh documentaries about him and then i watched the resurrection of jake the snake and if you haven't seen it uh so it reminded me last night because uh scott hall was in that and it was probably the resurrection for both jake the snake and Reza Ramon um, and here's the thing I'm talking about two grown men but you know there's human they played characters but there's true humans behind them and you know they're they were seen as larger than life you know they could kick anybody's butt and they told you they could um, but the true human behind those characters um, is uh, just it, it, just like all of us they have feelings they have problems they have everything else but anyway um so last night i watched it's on amazon prime if you have it um it's the resurrection of jake the snake and you can see what someone's belief in you what love and what hope can do for someone that it did for these two so just a recommendation from me so go watch the resurrection of jake the snake tonight and do you like my new t-shirt it says love equality kindness let's try that for today and every day but let's start with today okay all right well i am here you don't know where here is but i am here <laughs> i'm sweating already and we got options we got options so i'm gonna get my propane look at my options i'm gonna pick one i want to do and then I'm going to bring you along with me. So come on. 
let's go. Oh, and I know I ramble. I do ramble. So if you're new here, because I have a lot of new subscribers. And guess what? One of my subscribers wrote me and said, Tracy, your clothes optional video is 300,000. And the last time I looked at it was yesterday. It was like 320,000. You rascals. There's more of you out there that want to go to a clothes optional uh, campground than any of you know. So I thought people have suggested um, that maybe that's what I should do reviews of. And maybe I should. Uh, I was talking to John from where I was there, and uh, he said it would be good to tell it from a woman's perspective because, yeah, I was called a unicorn there because they keep the ratio of men low because there actually aren't that many women that go there. But I digress. We shall talk about that another time. All right, come on, let's go. Let's go get some propane first and let's have our coffee. All right, see you soon. I'm here. Did I tell you where here was? Did I tell you where I am? I can't remember. I am in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And I came to um, old downtown. So I saw the like new downtown. I'm surprised, it's like, it's big. And so, uh, I don't know if you can see, uh, there's a cemetery right there. St. George Episcopal Church graveyard pamphlet box. Um, another graveyard. Okay, let's look, look around and see what old downtown Fredericksburg, Virginia. <laughs> it's the same accent that I always use for, doesn't matter where. It could be French and I'd use that accent. Okay, let's go see. What's happening in old downtown? All right, here we go. This is about the Green Book, and it's part of the Trail to Freedom. 
The Green Book first appeared in 1936 and remained in print through 1967. In 1962, there were 2 million copies in circulation. Automobiles opened up exciting opportunities for travel, but a racially segregated nation was fraught with risk for Ameri African American motorists. In the Jim Crow era, travelers were met with intimidation and outright discrimination. Many carried their own food and had to be prepared to camp out while on the road. In 1936, Victor Green introduced a 15-page guidebook for Metropolitan New York that identified businesses that would accept African-American customers. Green worked as a postman in Harlem, New York. He married a woman from Richmond, Virginia and knew from visiting family that trips could be a nightmare. He expanded his travel guide each year, corresponding with fellow postal workers across the nation who knew about travel accommodations in their own communities. By the time publication ceased in 1967, the guide had more than 100 pages and included every state and international destination. ESSO was the only oil company that allowed African Americans to buy franchises. They agreed to sponsor the Green Book and sold it in their stations. Shown above is the Cock Carpenter Motor Company, located at 2111 Princess Anne Street. And we are on Princess Anne Street. And right across the street is a beautiful church. Fredericksburg, Virginia, or not, well, Old Town? Old Town, that's what it's called. And I got, I stopped in at the visitor center and there was a very kind gentleman there and he explained all this history around here. And I got a visitor guide and I got a couple other things to look at. And so it's just amazing. History is amazing. And it's amazing what we don't even know. <laughs> I mean, you can only learn so much, and I don't know, growing up, a lot of us didn't learn probably what we were supposed to learn, but I am going to end it here. I am going to go back and uh, take care of some stuff on the computer, so you know what to do. You, yeah, I'm telling you, go out and make an adventure. It doesn't matter how big or how small. You do not have to sell everything in your house, move out of your house, and buy a van. Oh, sorry, <laughs> move into a van. Nope, you don't have to do that. I did that. You don't have to. Uh, just plan something small. Get out of your house and follow through on something that you want to do. Whether it's like seeing a friend for dinner or you know, trying something new like scuba diving, which I'm gonna try when I get home, taking a class, whatever it is. Just take a tiny, tiny, tiny step towards doing it, all right? And go call someone you love. And as Joy says, tell them you love them. And, ooh, <laughs> close the camera. And you know what? You know, you know. Telling you, do not forget your magic. And go watch the resurrection of Jake the Snake. <laughs> That's all I got for you. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. One more thing. And I've been thinking about this all day. And I don't know. I. Maybe somebody else needs to hear this, but uh, Scott Hall, his good friend and wrestling partner, I think his name is Keith Nash. He said that Scott used to say, the most perfect person walked the earth and they crucified him. So, I don't know, some food for thought. But they didn't have the internet back then either. They probably would have just canceled them. Okay. See you soon.